Whoa, whoa, watch what you doing, son. Watch the gators, man. Oh, my bad, my bad. This is Armani right here. This is Taylor May, man. This ain't that Jamaica Avenue shit. Oh, oh, no. Hand me my cup flakes. I'm simply the best. Welcome back to the Bad Blood Spartan Tips. This is number three. How better than to get the actual owner of the Spartan Lads, Christian? How you doing? All good. How about yourself? Yeah, good man. Had a fantastic day yesterday with the uh, lads and done uh, Paddy Maloney, Paul Venice, Brian Cockrell, and Jamie Boyle. Um, it was a long, long, hard day, but well worth it. What was that doing? Um, got them all on the podcast. Oh, brilliant! Um, I, I ended up going. Uh, we ended up going to Brian's house, but we ended up going in uh, one of the clubs that Jamie's buying. Um, it was closed, but the lad who's got it actually let me in because Paddy used to work there. Right. Okay. So, uh, it was a good day. It was a good, good day. Yeah. When. When you got the meet and greet in Newcastle? Uh, I think I'm going to be coming off either next week or the week after. Next week or the week after, sort of. Has it, has it got anything particular planned for that day? Just going to come up, look at the venue, get acquainted with Gary uh, a bit more. You know, we, 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 we live so far apart, you know, we do keep in touch every day. We are good pals away from the sport and that. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, but, but uh, yeah, basically come up, see the venue, get a feel for it. Then I can, you know, I've built you a fight card that grace any stage. Doesn't matter which stage you put it on. Oh. It grace it. Um, so I just want to go up and get a feel of the place and what the atmosphere and feel that we like, and then I can know what lights and stuff to put in and catch the mood, you know. And yeah. Yet again, we'll show everybody in the UK why we're number fucking one. That's the style, like, that's definitely the style, mate. Right, I think Matty saw it, I'm going to bring him into the call, mate. Okay, no problem. Right. Right. For some reason, not that one's dead. Ah, uh, no, why? Is that Marty? Marty? Hello? 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 You've just joined me. I've just started it off. You're yeah, actually, we're live, so... Yes. Right. <laughs> How you doing? Hello. Hello. You there, Christian? Not yet. I can hear you, man. You can. Right. Let's see if, if I can get Matty in again. I don't know what was the matter with his phone now. Like. I think his phone's fine. I think it's in me. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's definitely his phone. Definitely his one, mate. Hello, you there? Can you hear us, can you? I can hear you now, mate. Spot on, pal. How are you doing, Matthew? Ah, oh, Christian, how are you, mate? I'm so me. I'm all good, mate. Yeah, really good, thanks. And then, shh, no one out my head. <laughs> yeah, that, that, makes, that makes me too. I'll, I'll second that. Well, we've got a fucking trio of... But if my sponsors are listening, I'm a reformed character. <laughs> that is nothing matter with God's powerful power. Flower. Definitely not. I agree. Definitely not. So that's the three of us. Boosh. Right. <laughs> Let me put the world to rights in. Fuck it. Yeah, we'd like to do that. <laughs> let's talk about the current state of BKB today and they promote the other promoters in it no let's not because I'll get fucking shot <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a bad run to the next level aren't they <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, obviously 
we've been keeping in touch, Christian. Speaking, obviously, um, you've said you've been very busy behind the backgrounds. Can you tell us exactly what? Yeah, man. Um, shows running so the last week has been spent um, for the new book which is now 25 card match wow. um, today we finalised the Spartan 7 card that's 21 fights match today including 8 title fights wow. um, and tomorrow we finalise Spartan Town side that will be 100 no that will be 66 fights matched that will be 132 fighters ready wow. to fight. What was the fucking turn of the game? Fuck off, will you? <laughs> um, I don't know if a company in fucking Europe could do what I'm doing right now. Uh-huh. Uh, that's, that's a big, big game, question. Have you got any specific venue locations for these shows? Well, Wellington's going to be our first step into the abyss of a, uh, an arena, if you will, rather than... Right? No, it's been steady progress. It was a circus tent, uh, which our competitors laughed at. And then we moved out the circus tent, stopped being clowns, and we went into four-star hotels. And now our first move into an arena. Admittedly, I thought it would be Sheffield or Liverpool, but it's Newcastle and Rayton Arena. And we don't fuck about up yet. Now, we do a record for a crowd was 7.40. And we've already done 1,100 tickets for Rayton. Yeah, that's fucking cast off. That is mental, like. Selling absolutely like chocolate cakes, oh, then, like, mate. Ah, yeah, you're the nut. So, I'm can you tell her? Uh... <laughs> uh, can you tell us any of the fights on them cards? Yeah, man. Uh, can you tell us the, the championship fights? Yeah, of course, Can on which show would you like the championship fight? I want the championship no. fights for Tyneside. Tyneside? Okay, you're going to be remarkably impressed about how I store everything in my fucking head. Um, um, really. <laughs> oh, but yeah, but yeah to, to put it into context, your title fights at Spartan Wars Tyneside will be... Andrew... No, sorry, that's Cooper up there. I can see bigger ones than that. Um, sorry. <laughs> you got on time side. You got Chrissy Bennett fighting for an area title against Phil Hartley. Phil Hartley. <laughs> that's got to be some pug out that way. Well, Phil Hartley, he's no stranger to BKB. He's had the fat dust up in BKB in the ring, and he's had a, a, a good gloved few fights. So I expect him to come and throw it down. I mean, uh, it, I mean. He's up against it in this fight, Chrissy Bennett. I truly believe if Chrissy Bennett can mix his style from the ring to the pit, he's going to be a fucking handful. Man. Oh, he's uh, going to be dangerous. Definite. Real dangerous. Yeah. Real, uh, real we've dangerous. Uh, we, we recently lost Rocky Holmes because he lost <laughs> in the O2 Arena. Uh, from our, well, I'll say our rivals. Not our rivals, but the sport, but for BKB TM, a ring company. He's wanted yeah. to go over because he does a bit of work with them and he wants to fight on that. Fair play to the kid, you know, he, he got in touch, give us a heads up, we're good with it. Uh, we've replaced him now. Uh, Darren Wilson, though, he will go for the light heavyweight title, British light heavyweight title in Tyneside. Uh, oh, oh. You know, again, durable, takes a shot, gives a shot, which would be a good fight. Another one, lightweight area title in Tyneside, Bullet Curry, an ex pro. Oh. Ooh. You know, we'll take on the ultra evergreen Adam Woodward, who's up and coming. He's a, he's a good stand-up striker in mm. MMA. So, yeah, hey, man, let's fucking do it, you know. Um, and then and then you're going to have Michael Vickers fighting the winner of Stevie Gold and Michael Marshall for the World Heavyweight title. Right. Oh, yeah. you've got it all set up, haven't you, mate? When you've got Jamie Jones, re- good name round your end, uh, good name in anyone's end really, facing, um, we have swapped his opponent, sorry I can't name him at the moment, I do know who it is, I can't think, but we <laughs> swapped him, Jamie Jones still goes for the middleweight area title. Ah, right. <laughs> oh, Jamie Jones, he's a, he's a, he's a hard good one, Charlie. They get three or four title fights, you know, they're decent scraps, you know, we've got yeah. four title fights on and we've got 25 fights, man. 
fucking colossus. Name another. Name That's another. colossus, <laughs> lad. <laughs> you know, and people keep coming to me saying, fucking hell, how long's the show going to last? Listen, have you, have you ever watched Spartan? 25 fight days going to last fucking long, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Uh, it's just fucking crazy. But listen, the tune is about to see that. Loving it. <laughs> Definitely. And um, you know, and on top of that, we've got, like I say, it's exciting times for the tune as well because we're dropping on the tune. We've got the documentary being filmed. You know, uh, we have talks of Gary Furby facing Sven Hammer for the the governor title down London. Oh. I just want to point out, make an exclusive on this podcast to let everybody know that in no way is it for the Spartan governor title because the Spartan governor title is on the fucking king of the cobbles mate bare fist yeah, yeah? none of these fucking pillows 10 ounce bare 10 ounce pillows is fucking bare fist the king of the cobbles that's how it's going to remain for me and it won't right. just be players that have been on the unlicensed scene it'll be players all over the fucking world we want the hardest cunt in the pit to have that belt yeah that's a slight like right. go on, on to that I, Going on to that, you said that you've been getting signings as well. Um, can you mention the countries that we're from? Yeah, we've got we've got another signing from Italy. We've got one from Spain coming up. We've got uh, a guy that I want to relaunch from Mexico. He's coming over and he's a fucking tough guy too. I mean, Chrissy Bennett, Robbie Adamson. This guy's coming, man. He's lightweight and. and Listen, when you go up on the streets of Tijuana fighting for your fucking dinner, uh, you know, uh, yeah. oh, this kid's kid coming to make a fucking statement too, by the way, so, you know, I've got him coming over, I've got a Russian kid we've signed, I've got uh, another two Polish lads that uh, want to get involved, I've got two Yugos, uh, Yugos, I can't remember, I can't remember, two other guys as well who've been introduced to just outside Wigan, he's wow. new the being guy, one of them looks like the side of a fucking bus, <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, whoever gets put in with him, then I apologise in advance. Um, but, yeah, we've got plenty coming up. I just want to try and get another five or six completed, and then I can round off another 15 pro fighters signed and thrown into the cooking pot, you know? Yeah. How many in total have contracts? Uh, today, about 65 are contracted now. 65. That's still a good number, Christian. Yeah, man. And that's, that's not going to stop there. The plan is for next year... There will be two further branches open. Right, right. That will, make four, that, that will make four branches, and then mine being the fifth. And I will have a, a show in Yorkshire to start the year, and I will visit each of the other four venues to have my show. So everyone up and down the country gets to see the main stars on the main show. Yeah, definitely. I'll be definitely coming to the ones in Yorkshire as well. Like, Oh, one of the said will be travelling our <laughs> Yeah, man, and I can tell you an exclusive today because I broke it on the internet. I'm not going to go into detail of where it is or who we're just yet because I'm waiting for a contract through the post <laughs> once it's signed, and I've got confirmation that's on. We have just done our first deal to have a show abroad. Oh, that's the fucking style, mate. Is that what we were talking about the other day, Christian? No. Another one comes to the forefront. That one is in the pipeline, and that one will be sealed ultra quick as well. Oh, <laughs> I, you need yeah, to, that's good stuff. This. When we we'll finish this podcast, Smart you need to tell us. Massive. Say again, mate. When you, you need to text me that right now. <laughs> yeah, we'll speak. We always do, but yeah, um, it's, right. it's exciting, man, because we know, we know that we're going to land in America in the summer. We know that. that uh-huh. That's that's a given. Whether we're fighting another company or we just go and do a show. Uh-huh. I've got the connections now to get myself somewhere out there and get a show on, no problem. Um, also in talks, I can tell you, yeah, I'm going to be starting talk soon with Donald Wunsch to have a show in Canada. Yes. That's the one, right? Uh, where about in Canada? We'll be talking to Burgers Luca about taking a show over to Rimini in Italy. Ooh. Having a fight with their, their tough guys out there, you know. I mean, listen, it's all about going global. I mean, we haven't mastered the UK yet. We're making our way. We're on our seventh show. Listen, Spartan 7, Spartan New Blood, and Spartan Tyneside. 
after them free shows, then they'll fucking feel us. Don't you worry about it. Damn right. We were speaking, uh, obviously, obviously, you know where we were yesterday. Um, we when we were speaking to Jamie and telling him that we're doing a link up for to be the media team for the uh, Spartan Tyneside, he said that was a fucking absolutely fantastic door opening idea. He said because he speaks highly of you, Christian, and he speaks highly of the company as well. well that's nice to hear. Yeah, he speaks real high. Oh, Get out there now. I, 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 I like his books. Yeah, yeah. No, I'll put you in touch with him, mate. Like direct contact I'll, with I'll him. Speak to him. I'll speak to him a little bit, mate. We should uh, definitely, definitely uh, try and jump on a podcast yeah, I'll, together. I'll, I'll give you an exclusive that we share a, a, a mutual fucking loathing for a certain character. Um, and he's not a BKB promoter. He's just another character, but we share the same loathing for him. <laughs> that's a kind of, that's kind of yeah, it's a little bit, you know. But no, what a fantastic guy! Really nice guy to speak to. Um, very well educated guy, you know. But nice kid, really yeah, nice fella. Definitely, definitely. He's done a, he's done a lot to help us, like since we started. Ah, so appreciate that for. Um, I saw so Christian. Barring these, do you know the three shows that go well? Have, and now uh, you didn't plan, 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 plan too, too much. But where do we go from here? I'm on Spartan 10. Right. Mm-hmm. Look, I'm we... on Spartan 10. I'm just waiting for results from 7, 8, and 9. Uh, right. Where do we go from here? Okay, we go from here. I think we're going to have a break after Tyneside. Mm-hmm. I think this year's been a washout. I think it's been fucking exhausting for everyone, uh, including most when you've got to say the fighters who trained for, for May and then was put off in May, tried to kind of aim in for August, got put off in August, kind of September, October now. So these guys have been fight ready for fucking three, four months. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's going to be easy, you know. Uh, so massive shout out to them, you know, and, you know, I'd say where we go from here is January, end of January, maybe beginning of February. Say end of January, we will have our next new blood show. Um, and uh, beginning of February, we will definitely be having our Spartan 8 heavyweight prize by a tournament. Yes. Um, and end of February, we'll be having Tyneside too. In between all that, Nelly, we're hoping... Well, maybe not. Maybe it'll be March, but we're hoping to do the ultimate pit fight around about then as well. Launch that. That's going to be absolutely, absolutely class. That ultimate pit fighter. It's going to be fucking nuts. I'm telling you. It's kind of it's a game, I reckon. Like, obviously, they had the ultimate fighter for the UFC, but this is it's fucking pit fighting. <laughs> it's going to be. It's. I can assure you that every week when they say one will go over, there'll be no need for fucking judges. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know You'll know who's going to be there if you just go and check the stretching at the end. But it's, it's, um, it's going to be fucking interesting, man, because I am recruiting some of the fucking finest heavyweights on this fucking planet. <laughs> I, I, I can't wait for it. I really honestly can't kind of wait for it, mate. Not honestly, <laughs> kind of. so, I, mean, I mean, going for the level of if I can get enough sponsors involved and I can get the prize, I'm a little looking, man. I've got no fucking problem putting 10 grand up for the winner. If we can get the sponsors on board and we can get the pay per view money in for it, I've got no problem putting 20 fucking grand up for it. These guys are sitting every fucking bed, mate. Listen, they're going into a house to capture the scene. They're going in the house and you're going to, someone's going to have a fucking straightener every week until there's only two left. It's fucking. <laughs> it's going to be fucking tense, mate, is it not? Oh, you know, mate, and I'm setting challenges every week and whoever loses, they'll stay at home and do the fucking cleaning. The rest will come out and have dinner with me. <laughs> Survival of the fittest. Yeah, when they come back that night, mate, and they get find out who to fight the next week, they're not going to fucking want to lose the week after. <laughs> How was your meet and greet in Bradford? Bradford? How was the meet and meet and greet? In... It was kind of a, it was more an exercise because I'll give you an exclusive here now. Uh, it was more an exercise to get Scott Midgley. Uh, whose main event on New Blood's fight, the World Light Heavyweight title, mm-hmm. against Richard Benn, uh, to get them there. 
and do a 10 second video of each shadow boxing and then put the finger up saying number one because exclusive is sparting a change in the fight posters shortly and it's gonna be moving fight posters so you can actually see the guy with sh uh, shadow boxing in the picture on the poster right <laughs> It's a robust form of combat. I love it. This would be these, these, you know, I keep saying it to you, and I'll say it again, I keep saying it over and over, and I'll say it one more time, you know. If you're 50 pounds in your left pocket and 50 pounds in your right pocket, and in your left pocket, you can go to the O2 Arena, or you can go to the Little Echo Arena, and you can watch 15 bare knuckle fights in the ring, and 13 could be one on points, and 10 could be one on points, the rest could be knockout. You come to Sparta, and if the 25 turn, you pay your fucking ball sack. 18 of those in ending as fucking bad as you can expect them to. <laughs> oh, I have it. And that has been proved time and time again, has it? And I don't give a fuck what anyone says. That's the £50 I want to be fucking spending. <laughs> That's the one, like, that is an absolute one. So, I had... Uh, um, for Tony and Robbie, is uh, are they still clearly on a collision course? Dead on a collision course for Spartan. Dead on. Spartan, yes. Fireworks yeah. off. See, what I'm going to do with Spartan 8 is I'm putting on an eight-man prize fighter, yeah? Yeah. So there's seven fights in that tournament from start to winner. The winner will win three fights on the night, and if he wins three fights on the night, he will win the prize match. And a shot at the heavyweight title and a prize by a belt to keep forever. Yeah, bloody hell. Oh, so, yeah. doesn't get much better than that, mate, Christian. That's, that's a fucking yeah, There you go for that. And that's seven fights in total. And then I'm going to put on eight title fights to surround four before the tournament, four after the tournament, two during the two after. So that'll be 15 fights, a surprise fight tournament included, and eight title fights. And listen. It'll be probably with one price all steered and it will be a fucking banger, I guarantee you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that, like. Very, very Aye. looking forward to that. Um, so you, we go from Spartan to Einstein, anyway. Have you got any designs in mind for the belt? You mean the design in a prize fighter belt? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what I am in there. I haven't. That's the short answer. Um, I will create one and it'll be a fucking cracker, but at the moment I'm currently designing the bad motherfucker belt, the open belt. Yes. Uh, yeah. I love I, it. But what we decided to go with is a belt, and because we know it's going to change hands and that, what we're going to do is put loads of little plaques all over it, and then every time you win it, your little picture, your little portrait will be put on it. That's the oh, one, yeah. I, I love that. I. And then every bad motherfucker he's ever held, it'll be on it. Are you going to do like... Are you going to do... Is that going to be a catchweight belt, more or less? If you want an 11 stone fighter to fight an 18 stone fighter, that's what's going to happen. That's the style, like. <laughs> just the promise, but no way if that's just simply... Let me, let me, let me fucking tell every single one of you now that the first person to ring me was Robbie Adams. I knew! I knew! Listen, he, he rung me and said, I want to fight John Hutton, the British heavyweight champion of Scotland. <laughs> Robbie, Robbie, Adamson. Robbie Adamson stands 5 foot 7 or 5 foot 8 and about 11 and a half stone ringing wet with a duffel coat on. John Hutton stands 6 foot fucking 5 and 24 stone. <laughs> He's a fucking animal, big beast. He weighs ah, a complete weight. Not fucking huge. Listen, he weighs a backstreet boy more than Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> what? Crazy. Yeah, it's fucking nuts. And Robbie, if you're listening, the one thing we've always agreed on, Mocha, from the day we met is we both agree that you're not fucking stable. <laughs> <laughs> not wired up, right? And I stand but by it, that. It just shows that he's a fucking proper fighting man, that you, yeah, you're you're fighting fighting man. he doesn't think by the sounds of it. The thing with Robbie Adamson is this. Um, 
he's 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 one of them fighters that thinks outside the box. He doesn't oh. look at the weight ratio. He doesn't look at what Robbie would be looking at. I tell you how Robbie thinks now because I've been borderline psychotic a few times in the end. Like, um, so I can tell you how Robbie thinks now. Robbie will look at him and think, right, if I can stay out of trouble and not get connected for the first minute, he's going to start blowing. I'm not. So right. that's exactly how Robbie thinks. And Robbie thinks, because he's so much bigger, I'll just ruin his body until he can't fucking breathe and then I'll bang him out. That's how Robbie would think because he's a fucking fighter, born and bred. Yeah. Oh, I mean, he's well experienced, like. <laughs> he's well, he's well experienced. He's, you know, but we say it, we keep saying it. The thing is, boxing will only take you so far in the pit. Toughness, being able to take a shot, being able to give a shot, and being able to dig deep in the trenches. That's where your pit fighters, mate. That's where your pit fighters are successful. Hey, listen, you can get in there, everything can be going swimming, and you can be fucking dropped at the flick of a coin, mate. And that's it. You've got to have the deep, you've got to have the, 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 the grit. You've got to have that little extra to get up and think, fuck no, this isn't how it ends for me. You know, no, yeah. And if you wanted a perfect example of that, the Jacob Williams fight was perfect. That uh, was a men fight, that. You know, Robbie was down on one knee in the first round, and I yeah. fought for all the fucking tea in China, mate, was done. You know, and he got up and, and knew, and knew. See, this is the thing in the pit, like I say, toughness will get you everywhere, fitness will get you everywhere. You know, you've seen what Tony Meehan did to, to Brandon Harden. Brandon coming in, he looked like Anna Drago. You know, and, and, and when I made that fight, I keep saying to you, and I heard you an interview with Tony, you know, and, he, and you said to him, everyone thought you couldn't win that fight. Uh, I was the only person before I matched that fight that said to Tony, I believe you can win, and this is why. And that's exactly how the fans like Pando. Uh, that's crazy. That's mad, that. He's a boss. <laughs> that's what he is. Ah, he is. Me. He just does his thing, and he's just Tony, Tony, Tony. There's never any fuss with Tony for the fight. You know, even when, even we've been in this situation with Brandon Arden where he couldn't win the fight, and people have been in boxing me saying, do you not think Robbie will walk all over Tony's outfit? Like, Listen, if you think Tony's going to be a walk over your film, he will come to fight one. And, and, and the thing with Tony is, if Tony was offered to drop down a whip and give his title up, and he will not leave that weight division until he's been beaten for the belt. And he knows Robbie's the fight coming up. He believes in himself. He's commendable, man. I believe he's one of the toughest guys we've got here. He will fight for me. He's knocked out cold. There's not many have got the same heart, fitness, and dedication to what he's doing. And Tony, he's started late. He's learning as he goes. Listen, man, he has got balls big enough to come in a dump truck. No Definitely. Truck. Definitely. Uh, like, it says three fights in... And he's he's loving it. He's developing each fight. He's, he found himself in a fortunate position, you know. I, I have watched this you know, won't go over it. Um, but listen, Tony can only beat what's in front of him. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know, and 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 we didn't know anything about his second opponent who would beat ten seconds. Andy Shields bless him. He's, I mean, another kid, balls big enough, has been coming a dumb truck. He's not won a fight yet. He's got to for a fight. He comes. He keeps coming. No fucking about. Back to the drawing board. Boss him a fighting on the next show. Kids like this, wow. mate, that is important to the kids who haven't lost. Ah, of course it is. Of course you know, it is. Everybody was a loser, but for that loser to go home and look himself in the mirror as a man and pick himself up and dust himself up and not quit, mate, he's got my fucking respect till the day he dies, you know? Definitely. Then, oh. Them people are, <laughs> will rely on them to get the show bloody done. You know what I mean? To put the cards together. Without, yeah, without them, we wouldn't have we wouldn't have opponents. So yeah, that's your um, that's me, your basic fight card anyway. The Spartan Seven fight card is fucking stacked, man. I didn't realise I put so many title bets on, but I think it's eight or nine. That's eight or nine. Oh, what are there? <laughs> yeah, I'll have to tell you. On Spartan 7, you've got the British super middleweight title with Reese Roadhouse and Ross McKeown. Two guys you can really fucking fight, man. Who was that, sorry? You've got Ben Pickle.
Skulls versus Matt James British yeah. Cruiserweight title. Both Ben and Matt won their Cruiserweight Eliminators to meet in this final for oh British titles. So, neither oh. of them have been oh, uh, You've got Richie Ben against Marty Barnes for the European Light Heavyweight title. You've got Cordy Harrison, fucking really good heavyweight. He went quite far with Stevie Gold and give Stevie some headaches, you know? Yeah. Um, He's facing Ben Waddington for the Transatlantic Heavyweight title. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> You've got Scott Midgley against Darnell John for the World Middleweight title. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, excellent. Scott Midgley's just got a fucking massive... He, he's, he's, he's been the big year B since it started, hasn't he? He's a fucking... Yeah, he's uh, loved his old man as well, hasn't he? Sport was invented. He built the first hay bales around Scott. Aye. It's great, he's yeah. got, I got dropped in his gym, mate. <laughs> yeah. That's have you been on QFC? Aye, QFC, eh? Yeah, you get yeah. fucked up, Matty. I got, I got dropped out. <laughs> Who did you fight? Bradley Bland. I thought you were going to say that, Ant Harrison. I was going to say, me and you are no longer friends. Yeah, you fuck off, man. I'll fight any man, anywhere, any fucking time. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we've got a... Scott Midgley, Donald Jumbo, and then you've got Jamie Hendry, unbeaten, three fights, three wins, three KOs, fighting uh, Robbie Adams, and past the burden, and Jacob Williams for the World Super Middleweight title. Oh. That'll be a bang. And then you've got yours truly, Tony Meehan, defending right. his World Lightweight title against Troy Henry. Oh, and then to round the evening and bring the curtain down, the one that Britain's been waiting for for nearly two years. Michael Marshall against Stevie Gold. Explosions. <laughs> this is going to be, listen this, Spartan 7 is going to be the second best hay bales show, that, uh, the, the, the best hay bales show Britain's ever seen. And I'm convinced four weeks after that record will be broken time side. Oh, oh. uh, big stuff coming from Spartan then. We're on on show, mate, we're trendsetters. Every time we have a show, it's the best that Britain we've ever seen in the Bales. We've seen all the shows before us in the Bales, that Dave Courtney's house in, in the shed and, and, and people in fields and other bits. But yeah, we, we've done that now. Did now. We're the fucking future. That's the one. That's the one, mate. 100%. Right. And so it's just moving at a, at a rate. Like, I never expected it. Spartans flying now, man. It's going to be a household game soon. <laughs> Yeah, man, I think we're already there a bit concrete. I think there was an interesting point made. I was reading a feed the other day, and one of the fans had said to another fan, Spartan are getting as big as BKBTM. I don't like making comparisons. It's two different sports. But if they're talking about numbers, the BKBTM fan went, oh, fuck off, William Roberts is nowhere near as big as uh, BKBTM. You do this, you do that. He said, yeah, but half your ticket to buy one, get one free on Dreepon, Christian sells every <laughs> fucking ticket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, and so, Listen, as long as the fans keep getting behind us, as long as the fans keep supporting us, I mean, it's not it's not easy to keep funding what we do. The fans buy tickets and that helps pay the fighters and get the shows on. As long as they're being supportive to us, we will keep putting on mouth-watering fights. And I'll say it again. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'm not pointing the finger at any other promoter in the country or world. But when you come to a Spartan show, these fights are fucking real, man. These people are coming in to decapitate each other. This isn't fucking joking about. I'm not pointing the finger at anyone else to say some fights are iffy and this and that. I don't give a fuck what other people are doing. What I'm telling you straight is when you pay your money and you come and sit down to watch a Spartan show, these guys are for real. Oh, I'm come for it, mate. Definitely mate, they're just coming decapitate each other, you know. There's no, you're not, I might get a nick of points win here and I might listen. I <laughs> will get to take people's fucking heads off straight from the belt. <laughs> right. You know? Right. So yeah, um, things are looking good for the future. Glad we got you boys on board. Um, yeah. Gonna have a speak two years away from here off this live podcast, obviously. Uh, have a, a brief chat here in the week. Get a few things down. Get it. Get the direction sorted. Let's get cracking. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. We're glad to be a part. Definitely. We want to fucking come on this mad little fucking crazy journey with us. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking nuts, isn't it? It's crazy. Yeah, definitely. It, definitely. It's, it's, it's m
<laughs> I mean, a year ago, I, I had a memory come up a lot of things. Yeah. Like a year ago, and I looked at just a fight card. We were struggling to match 15 fights, you know. And wow. we, we, were, we were in a tent with 350 people in the field. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not dissing where we started, man. Fucking loved every experience. Yeah. You know, so. But then a year on, you think we're about to fill the right arena and, and be pay per view around the world. Only Huge. a year on. Huge jump. Ah, you must. Huge <coughs> jump. I've got to say, I've got to say, that is not just down to Christian Roberts. That's down to every single fighter, every single fan, all the backroom staff, you know, Hannah Brennan. Um, oh, I love Hannah. That's a shout out to Hannah Brennan. Paul Spartan doesn't really want to be known by his real name, but he, he, he's, he's as well. Steph Pagano, fight day manager in Bradford. You know, but the list goes on, mate. Yeah. Jason Moore from the media as well. And, you know, what a guy he is. Drove down the other week, sit 13 hour round trip down to Bradford, a few shots, gets the video fight card he wants. It's good enough for him. You know, all Fantastic. of the back room staff, every one of them, you know, blue ship visuals, you know. Every one of them, even down to the sponsors, everyone, which I'll name at the end of the podcast on the shout out, that every single person, you know, um, everyone, you know, Louise, uh, everyone, they, they, they all make this show possible for us, you know. Yeah. It's not just a Christian Roberts thing, all right, I matched the fights and I sourced the fighters, and that's pretty important, you know, but guys, without the team I've got around me, I'd be fucking. Useless, honest to God. No. Behind the good man and the promotional team is a good is a good team. So you've obviously well, got a mint team behind you. Therefore, 100%. Right, Christian, do you want to start naming some of the uh, sponsors and that? Because this is the Bad Blood uh, Spartan Tapes 3, so we're we'll keep, we'll keeping them within the half hour, 45 minute range. Yeah, man. Okay. So, uh, massive shout out to my, all my sponsors, all the people who support me. So, my sponsors, um, Scott West Shellfish, uh, Extreme Cleaning, uh, Pixie Lot Entertainment, uh, Eco Tech Systems, Pay Me Caps, Governor Squares, Nutrition, Governor Group. Um, oh fuck, man! I need a weed company to sponsor me. No, we, <laughs> honestly, I'm, <laughs> I've got friends in America who run dispensaries. Obviously, because I speak, uh, I, I, I was on a, a website called Boxing Scene. I was, I've been on there for eleven years. I speak to everybody from everywhere, everywhere, and that's what I, I'm. I've I've got a big thing on there about that. Um, I can show you one day, but I, I could put you in front of a. Tell them, tell them right. Send them a message and say, "There's a fucking ginger kid making massive waves in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he's come along and he's put a fucking right fly in the ointment with BKB in the UK, and he's coming to kick all your fucking balls in in America with a new brand of BKB, and you can't wait." <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll put some. Why should the sponsor him just say because I'm fucking worth it? <laughs> <laughs> That's the style, like. Right, yeah, Christian. Shout out to everybody as well. Like I say, all the fighters um, uh, doing your thing. Thank you. Thanks for everyone for using to fight the spark. I mean, I can't, I can't decide to know how much of an honour it is for me tomorrow to finish that time drive fight card. And announced that we've got 66 fighters matched. That's 132 fighters ready to fight. That is a one wild night. So I don't know all you lads fighting on it on them shows like proper Spartans, proper warriors. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me on the podcast again. You guys are great. No uh, problem, it's mate. It's a fucking pleasure. <laughs> Definitely. It's gonna come on again anyway, so we'll look forward to speaking to you sometime soon. Anyway, Christian, we'll keep in touch as always. And I'll be in touch with you through the weekend. Thanks for everyone for listening. Massive thanks, biggest thanks of all to my fans who keep following Spartan Vertical Bike Club, keep pushing it, you know, keep 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 the, the group alive all the time with the bands and everything else. Massive shout out to those guys, you're on the fucking best training BKB. That's the one. That's, That's the one, my man. One. That is the one, my man. Right, everybody, that was Christian Roberts. Another fantastic interview. Watch out for the next one.
Cheers, Christian. Thanks a lot, mate. Speak soon. Speak soon, mate. Ta-da. Ta-da.